Welcome back to another episode of Boomer Bush, your home for NFL Draft Talk. I'm your host, Terry, and today we're talking about the Pass Rushers 2019 Draft. Uh, and then at the end of the episode, we will do the real grade for the New Orleans Saints. As always, you can go to the description section and find the link to the Google Drive with the documents for more detailed uh, breakdowns of the players. So, all right, we're going to get to the Pass Rushers and... Uh, every, it's been a while, but for every year, I pretty much make that distinction to people to understand that pass rushers are different than defensive ends. And I grade them differently because they are required to do different things. Now, the fact is a lot of the defensive ends in college end up going on to be, uh, pass rushers, or should I say, a lot of the pass rushers in NFL tend to be former defensive ends in college. So I'm not saying that they can't uh, move over, but I, I tend to do the pass rushers separately um, because it's a different skill set. And so, uh, again, we get the athletes, and it just depends on what school you go to, but you get the athletes at defensive end in these schemes, and then they uh, transition better as a eye front, you know, outside linebacker, pass rusher, whatever. And so there we go. And but as a result, you do you, you get a small number. And so even like a guy like a Bradley Chubb from last year, who was a uh, who ended up being a pass rusher in the eye front. He was a hands down defensive end in college. You get a guy like uh, Nick Bosa this year, who people say could be outside linebacker, but that's not what he plays. So it's just, you know, it, it's not semantics because I don't want to say it's not important, but it is kind of important how you define those different things. So, but anyway, there's not a lot. So as you can tell by the title, we're going to talk about Josh Allen, who is not only the top pass rusher in the group, probably one of the top defenders and also probably one of the top prospects in the uh NFL draft this year. So uh focusing on him because there really weren't a lot, and I'll get to some of the other guys, but there weren't a lot this year. So Josh Allen, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I wasn't a huge fan of him. Uh, I think I can see the tools and the different athleticism that people probably are really coveting. But overall, as a prospect, I think he definitely has holes. <coughs> and so watching his film, uh, you do get that traditional outside linebacker kind of thing where he's uh, standing up in the two-point stand, he's dropping out to coverage, he's setting the edge, he's rushing the passer, He's moving and blitzing, all those good things. So that's already good that you kind of had that experience. And I thought in number one in zone, he was just okay. I think he was just okay. I mean, and most people aren't great at coverage that aren't corners. So like a lot of times you just have coaches that teach you to stare at the quarterback's eyes and try to react to that. And to me, I think it doesn't serve that much of a purpose as far as what I like, and I think the better players, they recognize patterns, they look for people in the area, and they move to where the routes are. They don't just stand there uh, in the middle of nowhere. So, But that's how a lot of players are taught, so I can't knock them too hard, but that's kind of what he does. But as far as his ability to move around and get to the zones, I like that a lot, uh, especially in this day and age where a lot of people just stand up guys and rush them off the edge. It's nice to see a guy that can cover a little bit. Now, okay, I'll, I'll jump down to pass rush. I think that, uh, again, he gives you the coverage ability as a pass rusher. You definitely see the tools. Again, the get off. I think he has a really nice first step, explosive with his get off. Uh, not a lead or anything, but pretty good. And uh, once he uh, kind of threatens the edge, I think he has the ability and the mentality to keep fighting to the quarterback. So I really like his effort. The issue comes with his technique and his lack of strength. So I don't feel like he has any particular moves that he's consistent with. I've seen him throw a number of moves throughout a bunch of games because he has a lot of tape. 
But as far as a go-to move or one or two moves that you feel comfortable with, I haven't really seen that from him. And so when he threatens you with the speed around the edge, he doesn't always counter it with something. And so if you're not going to counter, then the linemen know they can sell out as far as protecting the edge. And so even though you want to just play on the edge, you can still be effective at it. But I don't think he leans particularly or he doesn't. I think he leans well, but he doesn't get his body low enough and dip well. So as far as like lean and rip and dipping, that that's a technical thing every year that I talk about because it is important. You can. Be good at leaning your body weight against a tackle as they're trying to keep you out of the pocket, and that helps ride you around the arc to the quarterback. But at the same time, if you aren't dipping your body low enough, if you can't sink your hips, then you're kind of just standing up and leaning on the lineman, and it makes it easy for them to then move you off course. But once you get low and once you're leaning and pointing your feet towards the quarterback, then it's really hard to stop you from uh going around that arc and getting to the quarterback. And I just think he leans well, but he doesn't dip well. His hips are pretty stiff. That's even evident in the way he uh moves around the field. He's really fast in a straight line. You could be fast in a straight line, but that doesn't mean your hips are, you know, uh, flexible you can still be pretty stiff and not good laterally but be good vertically so i i just think um as much as his get off and his speed helps him it kind of gets negated a lot of times by his lack of ability to lean around the edge and so there's that but again he's flash moments where he uses his hands well and he can quickly disengage off a block he can really create some pressure with blitzes and coming from the middle and looping around. But as far as a pure pass rusher, I think he lacks a number of tools. Now, to to pile on to that, I guess, his run game is not that sexy either. Um, and for the run game, there's a couple things I look at. Number one, as a pass rusher, you got to be able to set the edge. You got to be able to uh, hold the outside gap without being pushed out of the way. And you got to be able to keep your outside arm free so that if someone tries to bounce, you can disengage and make a tackle. If you get tangled up with a blocker, even if they aren't like sealing you and pinning you in, if you get tangled up, it's a lot harder for you to disengage and go make a play. And so keeping that outside arm free is a good indication that you have the leverage and you got the edge, meaning that if they try to bounce, you can make a play. But once you get tangled up, it's a wrap. I don't think he's that good at it. He really turns his shoulders all the way inside, which is a no-no, because if you turn your shoulders all the way inside and you're looking into the play, if someone bounces and you try to turn around and get off the block and make a play, more times than not, you're not going to be able to make it unless you're super athletic. And so as a, it's kind of like basketball kind of posting up for a rebound. That's how I teach my linemen as far as holding the gap and setting the edge. You got to keep that outside arm free. You got to be low in a nice position and uh, be stout where you can't get moved. And I think Josh Allen... While he can be stout and he can hold his ground for the most part, I think bigger guys are going to bully him. He's got to add some strength to his core and to his legs. But even with that, his technique needs to get better. He turns his shoulders too far inside, doesn't hold the edge well. And then for that point, once you go from the edge, you got to be able to uh, be stout at the point of attack. When somebody base blocks you or come right at you head on head, you got to be able to use your arms and extension, stack and shed that person. You got to be able to control the gap and then disengage the block. And for me, I just think he waits too long. And you got a lot of guys like that. I mean, it's, it's tough to connect your mind to your body sometimes. I always tell players, it's a lot easier to make a play when no one's blocking you 
rather than being blocked because you get guys that someone blocks them and they just want to stand there with the blocker, wait till the play gets to them and then run away or disengage and all that. And I'm, I'm a fan of quick disengage. And even though this wasn't his scheme to quick disengage, he just waits too long. He just kind of dances with the lineman waiting for him to see if he could make a play or not. If he can't make a play, then he's just kind of going to shut it down. And so his run game overall, I'm not a fan of. I'm not really a fan of his run game, but I see the upside with his pass rush ability. So uh overall, I mean, honestly, with the guys coming after him, he's the best prospect, but it's really not super hard to say that because it's not a lot of great pass rushing pra- prospects this year in my opinion so all right so moving on from josh allen i think most people would consider the next guy jakai polite from florida didn't like his tape you're talking about the same issues in the run game as josh allen but much less of a pass rusher i i just um he's got one trick pony that he's not good at he's a speed rusher He's six two. We'll see what he measures at, but he, he's short. So shorter. So he can dip under these tackles. But if he doesn't dip under the tackle, he has no other plan. And so he, as a pass rusher, I think he's got a good motor and good speed, but that's about it. I, I didn't like his ability to attack blocks. Didn't like his ability to set the edge. Didn't like his ability to lean and rip. I mean, all it is is kind of just getting a good uh, get off on the snap and trying to dip under the block. If not, then that's it. Now, he's a spark plug. Again, he's got a lot of energy, but I just don't think he did much. So not not really excited about him as a prospect. Then you got uh, DeAndre Walker out of Georgia. I thought he was middle of the pack. Uh, probably the most polished as far as uh, holding the edge, as far as going out in coverage, as far as rushing the passer, but no real athletic traits that excite me. No real ability to lean around the edge that excites me. No pass rush moves that excite me. Just kind of solid, but yeah, middle of the pack. And then the last guy that I would bring up at least um, – that I would say uh doesn't have a lot of tape, so I can't do a full evaluation, but looks promising. It's Jalen Jokes out of Oregon. Now, he might have issues or something else I don't know about. I don't know. But I would say as far as who looks the part the most, this is would be my pick. The uh, fluidity and movement on the field with the hips and the speed, the uh frame, you know, to be able to use extension and kind of move around the edge. Not being stiff, I, I just think this is the best package as far as what it looks like. I only watched one game, as I said, but I would say jokes is a decent uh package to look at. So that's it kind of for the pass rushers. And, I mean, pass rushers are a premium. But, again, it, it, the way the college systems are set up, a lot of people do both fronts now. Um But... Even if you're in the eye front with an edge rusher, a lot of times people just send a person off the edge and don't actually have them play a true linebacker or anything. So uh, those are kind of hard to come by, and that's been the case for a while. So uh, it just kind of is what it is. But I'm sure in the uh, even front defensive ends, there'll be guys that will convert to outside pass rushers. So. Anyway, let's jump over to the real grade of the New Orleans Saints. Let's see, 2016, number one, we got Sheldon Rankins out of Louisville. Still with the team, uh, sustained the injury. He was kind of injured his first few years, but kind of came on as an impact player this year before getting injured again. So, uh, again, I don't like to put injuries against players uh, unless it was kind of a a structural thing that you could have known about beforehand, but I don't like to put injuries on players. He's been injury prone, it seems like, but, you know, just kind of what is what it is. So, uh, but, you know, he's been a good pick when he has been able to play. Number two, you got Michael Thomas out of Ohio State. 
as we know, one of the top receivers in the league right now, um, one of the top targets for Drew Brees. And in the second round, that's a nice get. One the guy I was super excited about, which shows you with a good quarterback, you can do things. But, you know, still on the team, one of the stars in the league. Von Bell, I believe he'll be a free agent this year or something, but he's been on the team since day one, been starting games here and there. Not a star, but he's a starter. Uh, David Anya Mata, uh, from Canada, fourth round pick, still on the team, stars games here and there, kind of a rotational player. And then seventh round, you got Daniel Lasco running back out of California. Was with the team a few years. Uh, might be a practice squad player, but not on the active roster anymore. So, five players. You got one that technically isn't in the league, I guess. Um, but all the players stay with your teams. Um, and so, out of the four that's still with the team, you got, I would say, I mean, it's tough to say, but I would say three that start for you. Sheldon Rankins, Thomas, healthy, both start hands down. Von Bell, I think, uh, starts more than David, who's more of a rotational guy. But you got four players, two or three are starters. All four contribute in a way. So that's pretty big. And then you got, uh, one bona fide star and one potential star. Now, Sheldon Rankins being a top 15 pick. Having health issues, but he showed that he can play. I, I, I'm gonna watch that. I'm not, I'm not gonna give them a negative for that at all. So, uh, as far as a small draft, I mean, you hit on most everybody's contributing. I'm gonna get this A minus. So go to the comment section. Let me know what you think about your thoughts of the 2016 New Orleans Saints draft. Let me know what you think about some of these pass rushes this year. Anybody you specifically uh, excited about or thinking about? What do you think about Josh Allen? Get in the comment section, start the convo, share it around. Thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for listening.